guys, I'm Anna and this is my trusty sidekick Mookie. Today I'm here to unbox summer sandals because I need them. I ordered some Birkenstocks because I just love those cloth stompers. They may not be the most attractive shoes, but definitely they are super comfortable and life would not be complete without the perfect pair of comfy shoes. So I ordered these on Amazon and they were $90, which I feel like is an extremely good price for Birkenstocks in the middle of summer. They're typically more like at 100 if you get them at like um, Nordstrom Rack, but probably more like 120 if you're actually getting them at Nordstrom. And, you know, I, I typically feel like sometimes Nordstrom is actually a better deal depending on what you get. Like if you think that you're going to need to return it or you might not like it, I would, or you want to test it out for longer after purchasing, I would definitely recommend just paying more and nope, not them. Okay guys, these are the clump and stuff. Clumping socks, these are clumping socks. They gotta be. If they aren't, then I am just ordering way too much stuff. Which I probably am anyway, but. Okay, this does not look like an official Birkenstock box, but maybe I don't know any better. Premier packaging, we'll see. These are the clomp and stompers and they definitely look and feel like real Birkenstocks. So I'm um, not sure why they don't. Anyway, maybe it, like it's just been too long since I bought Birkenstocks and they don't have such a thing, but I thought I ordered these in black, but I guess they're brown. These don't even look like real leather. Does that look like real leather to you? Maybe buying shoes on Amazon isn't a great idea. These feel like, they look like they're made out of like felt. Leather and textile. Okay, so it's leather and then it's lined in some kind of felt. The Arizonas are the ones that I always had growing up that have the two buckles on the sides. I just thought this was cuter with the the toe strap. With shoes, I like to order them online because I feel like I'll get ones that haven't been worn by anyone, but when you go into the store, like an untold number of people have already tried on the shoes that you might potentially buy, so that's why I order shoes online. Okay. There's no shoe more comfortable than a Birkenstock. The one thing that I could say that are negative about Birkenstocks is that especially when you just purchase them, they have to mold to your foot. So you can't just buy them and wear them. But once you have worn them in, you can basically wear them for like an entire decade. So I actually think that paying like a hundred dollars for a pair of shoes can be a really good choice if it's going to end up being good for your feet and your back and super comfortable. I ordered this in a softer leather and that tends to um, shape to your foot a little bit easier. The ones in the patent leather are stiffer so sometimes they last for a little bit longer because the leather does like stretch out too but um, I think the softer finish is usually more popular and like Birkenstocks are just a really good pair of shoes to have. So I am definitely happy to have some new ones. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments. Do you like Birkenstocks? Do you think they're ugly? Let me know, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Bye.